Kingdom 3430 is on day 20. And my account is 4 million power. That would be pretty impressive. Free to play for a jumper account. But this is not a jumper account. It is a sleeper account. What's a sleeper account? Well, instead of making an account, waiting, getting it to level 7, building up the power on it, and then using the beginner's teleport to jump to a new kingdom when it opens, maybe 6 or 7 days later, a sleeper account starts day 1 and builds up for 20 days and then migrates back to kingdom day 10. So, Let's have a little look where this account is now, which is on 3430. So the maximum 10, get, 10 day migration on this account will be 3439, which opened for migration 19 hours ago and is 10 days and 19 hours old. This is my target for migration. When I reach this uh, kingdom, the altars haven't been taken yet. I'm stepping back in time with my powerful free-to-play account. Let's go, though. This uh, guide's going to be a little bit backwards. I'm going to have a few frequently asked questions that I'm going to deal with. Then I'm going to have a little look at the checklist of what I would do before I jump. Then I'm going to talk about how I got to this power. So, frequently asked questions. How much did I play this account to get it to 4 million? So, there are different types of free-to-play players. Some are tea-to-play, time-to-play. They have, like me, they're able to keep the phone open during the day. They go to bed late. They're able to log in regularly and look after the account. There are also those that are grind-to-play or grind-to-win. They are um, Barbarian Chain, which I don't talk about in this guide. That's not something I do. They also gather gems, which again, not something I do. So, I do play a lot, but I don't grind in the same way that some players do or some free-to-play players do. But what I do is try and be smart with my time and especially smart with my resources by using farm accounts to feed this account. So, I am... City Hall 22, which um, getting to City Hall 21 is a test of how many speed ups you have. But getting to City Hall 22, I assure you, becomes a battle with resources. So the first thing I'm going to show you on this video is this is not possible without farm support. So if we go on to the Alliance here, go to Rankings and Source, uh, source Assistance. So this week alone, my one, two, my three farms, 23 million, 34 million and 50 million, have given over 100 million resources this week alone to my main. Also, I've been very lucky and to uh, fully dis disclose uh, what I've been given on this account, a player did give up after a civil war, the person number three here, and they gave me resources as well as giving resources to some other players as well. So I have had a boost with resources, but what you're seeing here, not possible without the time to play or farm support. So that's a common question I get. I just wanted to tackle it now. Obviously, when I had the accounts first made, I log in an awful lot because uh, building queues are only an hour or 45 minutes. But as we are entering the end of the week, I don't have to log in so much. Because, of course, build queues go on for hours. I think now my um, queue for... Um, sorry, stables? No, for archers is something like 17 hours. So really, it's a once-a-day job, what used to be an hourly job. So, freely admit, I have the time to play. I'm lucky enough to be able to keep my phone open during the day. Um, but, I've reached 4 million... 2 million I think would be a solid target for a true free-to-play that perhaps has school during the day and sleeps at night. Okay, the next question I get asked a lot is how many gold chests did I get on this account? Well, there was a big civil war. I was doing quite well at first. I think I've had about 
20 gold chests in total on this account. So, not a huge amount, not being boosted in a huge way. When I'm in a sleeper account, I tend to avoid the top alliances because I want to keep a low profile. Bird got very unlucky in this kingdom as it had a big civil war. So, let's now move on to a bit more about the guide. So, you've done your 20 days. Here you are with 4 million or 2 million power. What do you do before you go? Well, the first... Um, the first uh, event you should be interested in is the Expedition Dash, which lasts for 20 days, so when it finishes, your sleeper should be ready. Uh, I was originally ranked 11, 12 or 13, I can't remember, but due to the Civil War, my rank improved to 4 as people migrated away, so a fantastic collection here. Also, the Expedition Dash is important for sleepers because it is a way of tracking people that can also come with you in the sleeper project. So if we go into chat and then uh, have a look on Loha Man, you can take photos of the rankings and all these people will be able to sleep with you that have done the Expedition 40 in this time. So, if I pick the name out, I picked the person in 40th, sent them a message that looked like this. Um, good job on getting to Expedition level 40. You made your account here, which means if you want, you could come with me with a passport transport, day 10, and collect the altars again. Um... So, this is important. Recruiting as you go will make your sleeper much stronger as you'll bring people with you from your kingdom to the kingdom you are going to. Let's now have a look. Before you jump, you also want to complete. I've waited to reset. Uh, of course, we get new events at reset and I have gone into them and quickly done them. So, two gold heads there, five epics. And what was the other one? Not a lot going on today. Uh, I've got the first part of the Mightiest Governor. And I've done the chests of the Harvest Watcher. So really, this account is now ready to go. So, to be able to go though, you need 600,000 in Alliance Coin. Which I sadly haven't got at the moment. The reason I haven't got it is because as I've moved around alliances, I've changed my name, which costs 100,000 alliance coin. And also when I was struggling to build power at the start of this account, I brought, I think, two three-hour speed-ups. So that was another 160,000 coin gone. So I'm going to have to uh, sell an epic um, blueprint for 45,000, but I'm not an archer account, so I'm happy to lose that one, which you get free in the events. 600,000, purchase the passport. We are now ready to go to our destination kingdom. We need to leave the alliance we are in, or oh, we will grab the iron chest and a few resources just before we go out the door. Quit the alliance. Now out to the migration screen. <coughs> Find our target kingdom. There it is. 3439. If you see, I already have an account there waiting for me. We'll talk about that in a moment. I've already talked about farm supporting my sleeper account. But I've also set up a farm. So when I arrive, I'll be able to boost my resources back up. Especially as I'm going to have to delete some on the way. Remember, I'm now stuck here for 30 days. So if this kingdom falls apart, uh, I've got 30 days to wait here. But I'm confident I've been on their Discord. I've had a chat with the leader. And I'm happy to come to these guys. No kingdom is perfect. But I think these are going to be a good kingdom for me. I'm not losing too much resources here delete there we go confirm yes also remember 
that I am going to lose the Lycran scrolls. Unfortunately, they stop when you migrate. And I am also got to keep in mind that you need to move to a kingdom that is different to the map of which you started on or which you created your sleeper on. This is important because, of course, you've already collected the medium and high caves and you want to be able to collect more medium and high caves. In my case, because of the start this account had, I'm only going to be able to get some high caves. So let's now go straight up here into rankings, find the top alliance and apply and hopefully that will open the map up a little bit i will start to explore as well unfortunately i've already cleared the map once but i'm gonna to have to clear it again but of course this time i'm clearing it with much faster scouts and hopefully will not be the labor of love it is before now Let's now go through to how I got this power and my sleeper tips. I wish people often ask me what was my build order or what order did I do things in. I really, really did nothing other than what the main event quest line asked for. You often send an email that looks like this and this is what I follow. Uh, the game will guide you to follow this. Sometimes you have to step ahead. For example, if i am done my storehouse and I'm just waiting on my wall at level 18, I would of course start my level 18 stables to try and get ahead. But apart from that, the build order is simply the build order as is set out by the main event quest line. This one up the top here, main quest. Um, I don't deviate from this, but... <coughs> A lot of players intend to follow the main quest line, but the reason they deviate from it is because they run out of resources. They often run out of stone during the Lohar at the start, and then, of course, as they get into the City Hall 17, 18, if they don't have farm support, they will have to start deviating very far away from the line they want to follow. So I do not deviate. The next tip I'm going to tell you, again, is very simple, but it needs to be said out loud. Um, people think there might be something secret that I'm doing, but this is one of the major um, reasons my sleeper is so strong. The game gives you one, two, three, four, five in your research, and then two buildings, which I've got one there, and something else. So, seven cues, which in a day is seven, seven hours times 24, so you get a week's worth of speed ups free every day just for playing the game. But you don't get these speed ups given to you in your uh, bag. You have to either use them or lose them. An example of how the jumper and sleeper deviate hugely is once you have finished doing your building and research in your jumper, three of your building queues lay idle, which means every day you lose one research day, and two building days. So you lose three days. Also, your four other queues can only last an hour without you logging in, which is impossible. Nobody can log in 24 hours a day, especially if you go to school, especially if you work, or aren't allowed on your phone on your desk, and of course if you sleep at night. Nobody gets the seven days free but the more of it you can get the more advanced your account will become and that is the basis of the sleeper account so whilst the jumper uses its 10 day migration window uh it sits at level seven it starts throwing away three days of speed up and starts throwing away more training speed ups than the sleeper second point is because of the way new kingdoms open Jumpers for safety have to cut short. They have to go usually after seven days. I would recommend to use your jumper, where a sleeper uses the full 10 day migrations every single minute of it. In those three days of extra sleep time, you gain um, another 7, 12, 
21 days of speed ups. So remember, these aren't real speed ups that come into your bag. These are the speed ups you get just from having these seven cues, which all of us have. That is the main deviation. That is the main difference. Now, I, of course, have done lots of things different on this account. I've used gems in a way that have boosted the account. I've used my experience points, hugely different, where I've spread it around to get more power. But remember, this is not real power. My account could be just as strong at 2 million as it is now. But because I completed the Hidden Lotus, uh, this skin here, the Hidden Lotus challenge, my account looks different. Some of the power I have is also inflated, where I used training speed ups before I got the first altar, which has the 5% training boost. I'm not Britain. You shouldn't really be using your training boosts. But again, I play the game differently that I personally like expedition and progress in expedition. And here I am, three starred up to level 44, which now I am on Kingdom Day, Kingdom Day 11 free to play with 4 million power, which is pretty impressive. I have to admit, if you said to me a year ago, do you think a free to play player can 4 million on day 11? I would have laughed at you. I would have thought that was impossible without huge amounts of grinding, huge amount of gem gathering or barbarian chaining. Here we are in the new kingdom. Um, <clears throat> I know people would like me to talk more about how I got the power, but really it doesn't deviate from how you used your gems, how you used your AP, how you've used your time, uh, how, how you've kept your cues working, how much of that free seven days a day you used as opposed to how much you lost for when you logged in and let's say all of your training cues are full, uh, finished and are just doing nothing and idle. It really is as simple as that. Of course, uh, full disclosure, this account got four altars, which isn't a lot. I think about eight or nine sanctums. Again, not a huge amount. Uh, I've already said 20 gold chests. This has not been a highly boosted account. Uh, so just imagine what a real grinding pro like 12-inch PV penis could do with this strategy. Let's now go, though, to the first thing you do when you get to a new kingdom. Let's so first go to the monument. Brilliant. Happy birthday. You can collect the monument again. So a massive boost to the account. So that's 2,000 gems there. Another 2,000 gems there. Another 200 there. Another 100 there. And of course I'm going to have the altars again. Hopefully this account uh, zone 2 in this map is fantastic for altars. So hopefully they're going to have a lot for me to collect. Let's now go out of this account. So I've already talked about farms. So let's have a look how the farm on this account is shaping up. Of course, I made this farm and it's been sitting waiting for me. I didn't make this as a jumper because I didn't want to upset the jumper cap for this um, group that I joined. Uh, because, of course, if I made a jumper farm, it may have pushed out a real player. So I just started it during the Loha event. And, of course, let's see how it's doing. <coughs> I've only got the one lead farm. Perhaps I'll pop a few others soon. The power is low. I tend to keep my... I'd rather have multiple farms than... Uh, low farms. Let's now have a look. I've got 436 um, quests to collect, which is fantastic. Uh, I've had a whole load of Lohars on this account as I did the event uh, for four days. So I've got 10 blue, 37 green to run. And let's have a look at resources. Five, six, seven. I think it's about maybe 20, 25 million resources, um, plus all that I've got here, which will take a while to collect, so I won't do that. So hopefully going to give me a real quick boost uh, as I arrive here with resources, but I wanted to show the farm. 
I only make basic farms. I tend to stop at City Hall 11 because I'd rather have multiple farms than high level farms. But that's where I am now. Oh, let's have a look at the army as well. So 16,000 uh, siege units. Plus, I guess my hospitals are full now. Uh, another 14, so 16. So that's 30,000 um, siege units, which is fantastic. So let's come back off here to the main account. Back to the main. Let's just summarize. Uh, I know you may have been wanting um, more tips or you might just be surprised at how basic some of the things I've said in this guide are. But truly, the amount you log in does matter. But I personally feel you can be smart with your time. I've achieved 4 million here, Kingdom Day 11, and I haven't Barbarian Chained. I haven't gathered gems. Um, let's have a look at the power breakdown for a moment. Info. 2 million in building. Uh, 753,000. So no tier 4 yet on technology. Commander power and troop power are obviously highly inflated because of the um, getting the hidden lotus, which is open to um, sleepers and not jumpers anymore. This is what I've done. Let's also have a look at the number of barbarian kills. Just to show that this is not a trick of the light and that I've been killing, um, that I have really been barbarian chaining. So I think it's in Vanquisher. Number of barbarians killed, only 1,900. I would have thought after 20 days, a pro chainer would be 10,000 at least. Uh, even a semi chainer would be 5,000. So. That's all been done with AP. Uh, I only have only killed 200 forts on this account, so I've not been doing a massive amount of forts either. <coughs> so, not grinding, but using time to play. Uh, this is what can be achieved. Uh, I hope this inspires some people to restart their account or have a go at the sleeper method, um, especially keep in mind uh, using the expedition dash to recruit to uh, make the best of the 10 days you have as opposed to the seven days of jumping to use those seven days of speed ups make sure you've got your passport i hope you do better with um, altars and uh, gold chests than me and I say if you combine this with a grinding um tips which of course like the 12 inch pvp penis would would give you you could have obviously i think maybe even 5 million free to play by this point let's have a look at my rankings i am 15th for power which is pretty amazing and city hall i'm 14th so that would be interesting i'm really looking forward to sunset canyon um which of course and not everybody's interested, but I'm going to have to grind a lot of gold uh, to get that up and running. I've, of course, gone Sun Tzu. I've gone Belarus because he's going to be my main march. I wouldn't usually put him in my Sunset team. Good old City Keeper. I'm going to convert Loha from Barbarian to Support, and he would come into my team. And then, of course, for Archers, nothing beats this guy early on, the Korean Archer. So that's the base front line of my team. Uh, but perhaps I'll make another sunset video once I'm up and running. So that's all for today. I uh, hope this helps somebody. <coughs> I hope that you can get an account this impressive, this early in the game, and um, be able to keep up with the whales. What I'm going to do now, though, is relax, get some gold, work on my sunset team, and hoard speed ups for a gold head event. Oh, let's just do the scores on the doors for the gold heads. So for gold heads, I am 17, which I don't think is too bad. Remember, I grabbed a couple at the end there from the Olympia, which is a day 20 event, which I think is well worth doing as well. So in my new kingdom, I've got to say hello to people. I've got to get resources over from my farm. I've got a huge amount of fog to clear. But I hope this guy helps somebody. Thanks for watching.